Yesterday afternoon, just one day after reactor number two at Gorsung nuclear power plant was reactivated, the reactor automatically shut down, apparently due to a buildup of excessive steam pressure. Briefing the legislator on the incident today, Economic Affairs Minister Shen Rongjin said the cause of the incident is still under investigation. Tai Power says that yesterday's incident at Guosheng's reactor number two was caused by a glitch in the generation system, triggering the reactor's safety mechanism, which shut the reactor down. Legislator Huang Guocheng asked why the facility was not properly fixed in the overhaul that began when the plant was shut down in May 2016 by a power surge and finally finished last month. If there is a problem, why was it not discovered in the last major servicing? He also said that authorities are focusing on trivial details relating to yesterday's incident to distract from more serious questions, such as whether there are deeper problems affecting the reactor. The Atomic Energy Council Minister Xie Xiaoxing said people should feel reassured because the shutdown showed the plant's safety procedures were working as they should. Basically, in the end, the switch tripped. It was a safety shutdown. In other words, it's a safe system. Actually, I think that the general public doesn't need to be too worried about this question. It's now unclear if the reactor will be able to contribute to the grid this summer. But Economics Minister Shen Rongjin says that if it can be reactivated, it will help to prevent a potential power shortage. If we have the number two reactor at Guosheng Nuclear Power Plant, it will add installed capacity of about 985 megawatts, which will help give our system more flexibility. And let's see how soon we can get some new generators connected to the grid. The minister said it's still unclear who should take responsibility for yesterday's incident, pending an expert technical report.